So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And I'll walk you guys through exactly how to get started with verifying your Instagram account for 100% free. So as you can see, we are now inside of my computer and I'm gonna walk you through how to get this verification, all right? So the process is very, very simple, believe it or not. And on the screen right here, I'm gonna pop up a little screen recording on how you could actually go through it inside of your settings in about 30 seconds or less. And by the way, if you're not following me yet, make sure to go ahead and follow me at Tony Mast Official for some more content from yours truly. But simply enough, you go to your settings and then you scroll down to request verification and after pressing that you're gonna to want to fill out that form where you go ahead and enter your name and also a little bit about what your brand and what your account is about and filling that proper category so they know exactly what kind of verification you are applying for in addition to a copy of your photo ID that will match your name now what is going to make sure that you actually get that Instagram blue tick and actually get verified. Now there's a few general qualifications out there that Instagram is going to be looking for because they don't necessarily want to give everyone a verification uh, check mark next to their name on Instagram because that would simply dilute the purpose of it. Now Instagram has this feature to verify that's actually you and that it's not some fake account or someone trying to impersonate you or someone trying to scam someone, uh, especially in the business realm. So this blue tick is very, very important and can actually add a lot of value to your business. So with that being said we want to go ahead and give this a shot now it's not a hundred percent given that you're going to actually get verified by filling out this application so the general qualifications first and foremost you're gonna to want to have a significant amount of followers if you don't have any presence on Instagram there's gonna be very little likelihood that you'll actually get that verification because if they started giving out uh, verification blue ticks on everyone's usernames it's really gonna take away from the meaning of that all right so ideally you're gonna to want to have at least 25 or 20,000 followers to try and get verified. Now, yes, many people do not have that, but with consistent content and stuff I'm gonna to touch on in a future video, I'll show you how to build out that viral content strategy to actually work your way to a larger following on Instagram, okay? So beyond having that significant amount of followers on Instagram, that's not the only thing that necessarily cuts it. You're gonna to wanna to have a strong presence on other platforms outside of Instagram. Now, this could be YouTube, this could be Twitch, this could be Facebook, whatever it may be. You're also gonna to wanna to have these linked in your description and a little bit of a blurb about what you do inside of your bio. So that link in your description is very, very valuable when it comes to reassuring Instagram that you're someone that deserves to be verified on their platform, okay? In addition to that, something that could also help you and be in you know, your corner to help you get that verification is publication or press coverage. If you're featured on a, a specific website or a magazine, anything of the sort, your brand being featured inside of a publication of some sort is gonna help you go ahead and get on Instagram side to go ahead and give you that blue tick. So with that, the bigger brand presence that you have overall, the easier it's gonna be to get verified. It's simple as that. The more you have in your corner, the better chances you're gonna get verified. And these are just a few general qualifications. Another thing Instagram's typically gonna look for is existing spoof or impersonating accounts of you or your brand that are already out there on the platform. So if there are people trying to take your username with maybe a period or an underscore in there, and they're trying to come off as your brand or your personal self, then Instagram's gonna be looking for that as well. And something that could work to your advantage is if you actually have a copyright or trademark for your own business. So if someone's trying to impersonate your business, for example, providing that and filling out this form that I'm gonna show you guys on my screen right now, is reporting to Instagram and having something on file that is also working for you, such as you know proof of a trademark or proof of a copyright or concept that someone may have taken from you. So this can be intellectual property. Instagram is not the best with these response rates. It is a free platform and it is not easy to go ahead and get a hold of them or get an Instagram representative that's going to really dive in there and do the hard work for you to make sure you're in the right position. But having those other qualifications that we talked before, such as significant amount of followers, strong presence, on other platforms and even featured in publications or press coverage is gonna work to your advantage. So that's something that you definitely wanna have. And if you don't have it already, start hustling and try your best to get out there as much as possible. So with that being said, Entering your uh, complaint or filing a report to Instagram is something that could also help you in either retaining a lost username that someone maybe hacked you, someone's trying to impersonate you, and also something on file that will help you move in the right direction of getting verified because it's clear that people are trying to impersonate you or your brand or your business. So with that being said, go ahead and drop a comment down below. Let me know if you guys actually get verified. It's not the easiest process or not accepting everyone right now. 
it's really tough to go ahead and get accepted, but having some of these qualifications and working on these qualifications will definitely help you for sure. So if you have that brand presence inside and outside of Instagram, it's gonna help your likelihood to actually get verified. So go ahead, fill out your application, just like the process I showed you before. I'm gonna show it again right here on my screen, the screen recording on exactly how to submit your application to get verified on Instagram. And you can literally do this right now and it takes you less than 30 seconds. So why not give it a shot, even if it's not the best likelihood that you'll actually get verified it is definitely worth a shot if you're in that reasonable range and could actually use that blue tick on your account so without any further ado i'm gonna wrap up this video right here i hope you guys enjoyed it if you took away some value or learned something new be sure to go ahead and hit the like button down below and do not forget to subscribe for more information just like what we went over in this very video in addition to more paid advertisements facebook ads instagram organic growth as well as going viral and also of course e-commerce all right guys 